Good morning, how do you do? We've got something special for you. It's just for fun, it's just for kids. It's time for the Sydney Touching. All right, let's start with number six today. This one is all about the curse of the ninth and the robots who could help complete a famous composer's unfinished work. One of those is Beethoven. He died shortly after writing this, his ninth symphony, Ode to Joy, but he had already started working on his 10th symphony. Mm. This is known as the Curse of the Ninth because oh. the exact same thing happened to several other composers. Oh, wow. Their work on their 10th symphonies has been left unfinished until now. Artificial intelligence has taken the blueprints left behind and uses the patterns and motifs to predict what could have been the next set of notes. But not to worry, human composers. This artificial intelligence would never be able to write the music from scratch. It can only pick up the nuances and emotion created by someone else based on wow. their life experiences. Still terrifying. <laughs> Number five, take a look at the world's best restaurant. It's in a soccer stadium, Geranium. It's on the eighth floor of Denmark's National Soccer Stadium in Copenhagen. The world's 50 best restaurants list crowned it based on votes from chefs, restaurant managers, and food critics from around the globe. Geranium's menu is meat-free, changes every season. All 20 courses, 20 courses, decided by the head chef and the co-owner. The whole meal takes a minimum of three hours to uh, eat. Ooh. I'm out. And it costs 440 US wow. dollars. Yeah. No meat? Oh, and it's all like there. those small little bites. Yeah. And you leave hungry. Yeah. Uh, three hours. It's a lot of time that to sit. Who do you want to sit with time. for three hours at a dinner? Myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Myself. What about Mrs. Conrad? Could Myself. You, could you deal with I'll her bring for three for 20 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number four. Uh, the 80s are back, baby, and rock star haircuts are coming back with it. The wolf cut, the mullet, the pixie cuts are all so in right now. All the hip young ones are taking over the TikTok with their poison and Motley Crue inspired hair. A few of these hairstyles actually look like my do back in 1987. They're the perfect way to add some edginess to your face and make those cheekbones really mm -hmm. pop. Yeah. It's not particularly a uh, look or an updo though. It's more really about a lifestyle. Yeah. And uh, the 80s are forever. Mm. Mm. I always say, I was in my best when my hair was all teased up and yeah. boy. You should never too late, Robin. Yeah. You know, maybe, I'll back to it. maybe I'll give it a try. Why these days I'll just show up, Larry, and I look like people quit when they're in their sixties. I look like Vince Neil from Motley nice. Crue, and just yeah. you know, just read the news. Let me know so I can get a perm. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the Mac <laughs> yes. Davis? Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Oh, all right. All right. Speaking of '80s hair, number three, there's oh. a competition for the best mullet. The kids' division of the USA Mullet Championship is underway right now. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Voting for round one just ended yesterday. 100 Ooh. pictures with the most votes will be moving on to the second round. From there, the 10 best will advance to the finals. You can vote for your favorite on the USA Mullet Championships Facebook page. <laughs> now, is that how yours looked, Pat? Yours, you said, was a little... Did you have one? Not it was a little curly quite, in the back? Not quite. No. I... You know, I, I never had straight hair. My hair grew up and out, <laughs> so basically it just flipped up a little bit in the back. Oh. It still, it looked glorious, sure. but it did, it couldn't grow long. Oh. That's a difficult situation. Yeah, it was tough. It was a tough Explains fifth grade a lot year. about the hardness in your childhood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, number two, our spontaneously declared kangaroo week continues <laughs> on the 666. Here's some cute video of a baby Joey and some fun Ooh. kangaroo facts go along with it. This Joey's a lot bigger at birth, but it's about the size of a jelly, wait, it's bigger now, but Whoa, when it's born, it's the size what of a jelly bean. Oh. <laughs> and that's why they stay in their mom's pouch for so long, because they're so small when they're born. But if their mothers aren't ready to give birth just yet, they can actually pause a pregnancy. Wow. They can pause it for up to 11 months. Wow. So they're just not ready. The house yeah. isn't painted. Right. Uh, that way they can wait until another baby is out of the pouch or give better birth yeah. at a better season. One last fun fact, kangaroos cannot move backwards. Oh. So that's what you do, you stand behind them. Yeah. I gotta tell you, 
Unless the kangaroo is punching a TV host, right. I'm a lot less yeah. interested in the video these right. days. I know. We needed to <laughs> add that video back that in. It's so good. Don't we, isn't there video, too, of those kangaroos fighting on, like, a residential street, yeah. remember? Yeah. Just yeah. running the down the street. Yeah, yeah. very big That's a good one, too. Yeah. Western Springs has that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number one, a fridge commercial from 1956 is getting a lot of attention online. People are noticing how it has more features than today's fridges. Take a look. Let's start with the most ingenious door in any refrigerator. It has special places for bottles, spreadable Ooh. butter, Ooh. cheeses, even leftovers, and a big picture window hydrator for fruits and vegetables. Ooh. It tilts down to show you your supply at a glance. Wow. And it also lifts out. What? Come on. You can take it over to the sink when there's a fresh supply to be washed and put away. Look at that. But that's just the door. Think of all you can store in here on these big, firm shelves that roll all the way up to you. Wow. Yeah, so you can get it the food in we without moving so anything much. in front. And how about your frozen things? Oh, yes, there's a place for them, too. Wow. In this big, big food freezer. Even your ice cubes have wow. a special place for storage. Right here. Look at that. And watch how they get there. You just take out a tray, turn it over, and push. You get Whoa. a shower of ice cubes, oh. all frosty dry and ready to use. What are we doing? Yes. How have we gone backwards? Yeah, we really have, huh? I mean, look at that, the, the window where you can view your veggies. Yeah. And yeah. Veg. That's wonderful. Well, right. How Washington. nice of her husband to buy that for her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she was delightful. I could see where she's she got, got a lot of time because she, she was yeah, she was charming. Yeah, she's not working, so yeah. she had time to make that commercial, right, Larry? <laughs> and that's the only room of the house she's allowed in. Well, <laughs> she can run the back in she's with the living room if needed. <laughs> right. I love how they're always like wearing a dress 24-7. And full yeah. lipstick. Well, they're they're my good mom. Old days. Sure, good old this days. lovely place where yeah. I can keep my fruits and vegetables. And how about your soft cheeses? Yes. <laughs> you never saw June Cleaver in a pair of sweatpants. No. Never. No. Uh -uh. no. God bless. <sighs> good old days. They were much better. That refrigerator alone is a demonstration right. of how we've gone the wrong direction. <laughs> uh, all right. Here's